All right, uh, we're up to number 16, and the question is, why is there such a thing as a home, the concept of a home? So, first of all, in Hebrew, home uh, means, which is called, say, bais, bait. Now, that same word um, in Hebrew means base, too. So, Aleph, base. So, uh, it's interesting, why does home has to do with two? Um, and it's really a hint for us that we really have two homes. The, our home here is only a metaphor for our home in the spiritual world. Um, and that's what the letter base also means too. And that's why at the beginning of the Torah it says, Bereshit bar Elohim, God created the world, created a heaven and Bereshit bar Elohim et Hashemayim et Aretz. He created heaven and he created earth. And they are, it's a parallel, it's like looking in the mirror. So the home that we have here is a metaphor for the, the home up there. How you make your home here is going to prepare you to have your home in the spiritual world. Um, so this is the same concept why it's, uh, we have, it says we have a Besamikdash and there's a Besamikdash here on physical and there's a Besamikdash in heaven. We're trying here in this world to build a house for God. Why is the house for God? For him to dwell in this world the same way he dwells in the spiritual world. Uh, we're trying to create that parallel. That's why there needs to be a whole structure and of, of how the Besamikdash Bes should be rebuilt so that it corresponds perfectly to the spiritual world. So a home is a place where we dwell, where we, 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 we can connect, where it's, it's the root where the source of energy. So in a way, uh, also a, a house is a place where we train. I go in my home, I go to the root, to the source of energy, and it's a tr like a training place. It's, a, it's, a, it's like a, uh, I like to say it, it's a military base where I go there and I learn to have relationship with my family and I, I learn to not hurt the other, I learn to be one with the other, to live with the other and if I'm able to do that then I'm ready to go out in the world and do the same thing, to learn to be have relationship with the other, to be one with the other mm -hmm. and to help the other um, because it, it, technically we're all one big family we're all in that one big home called Earth so, but we need a, a, a training center. So this is really when we come back home at night, or we, we have to think, okay, I'm, I'm going back to my training base um, uh, or, and bring back whatever I've learned from the world also uh, to enhance my, my home. And in the home, I work and take what I've got home and enhance the world. It goes back and forth. So, um, I think it, it, is, it is really the main idea of a home and uh, we should all be able to transform our home into a place where uh, there is beauty, there is love, there is unity, there is God and, um, and, and, and remember that it's in order to prepare our next home. Actually we have a reminder once a year and the festi at the festival of Sukkot where we go in the sukkah, we go out of our home. Why to remember that this home is temporary? It's the, in the physical, it's just a reminder for our home up there in the spiritual world when we die and we go in the world to come. That it's it's really, it's temporary. Don't 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 uh, be too attached to that home. It's 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 a metaphor, um, and actually this is why we compare the physical home that we have to the temple. That my home has to be like a temple, a place where I can bring God into this world. Uh, the more I understand how my home work, the more I understand how the temple work. The more I understand the temple work, the more I understand how my home work. Um, and we're supposed to behave in our home like we behave in the temple. It's also like a, a training one for the other. Um, uh, we could mention uh, that the man in the home and the woman are both like the Kohen and the Shechina. The woman represents the Divine Presence, just like the Divine Presence will come in the Temple, and the man represents the Kohen Gadol, who uh, is uh, trying to be one with, with the Divine Presence so that she stays home, she stays there. And that unity creates fixing for the whole world. My home, just like the Temple, has the ability to affect the whole world. Everything I do in that home has a, a, a butterfly effect into the entire world, just like the temple 
has a butterfly flag into the entire world. Um, so we should use our home well and transform them into a beautiful temple that fixes the world.